Okay, so what I wanted to show here is, is a, a possible way to hook up a keyboard to your 3D printer or any household project. So here's a prototype uh, pad that I'm thinking about using for uh, one of my uh, 3D printers. And what I wanted to show you is that it only has three wires coming out of it. And one of those wires in the middle that's for an analog uh, to di digital on the uh, the the uh, Arduino, and then there's plus plus five volts, and then there's ground. So what I wanted to show you here is this kind of working. So you see, it says bed settings up there on the keyboard. Key press is five. Chamber baud rate, and then I can go back down. Uh, back to bed settings and then so I'm gonna push some of the other keys here and so I have a program that tells me a certain analog value is a certain key so each one of these keys is a different value I'm just kinda randomly pushing buttons here but anyway so this pad has ten buttons and it's hooked up with a resistor logic set up so that if no pins are pushed it gets about half its analog voltage and as each one of these is pushed it bypasses the resistor value and it's like having one or two or three less resistors uh, it changes the voltage division and it allows your A to D to uh, receive a different value so this only uses one Arduino pin this type of setup and I have proved it works I proved it works reliably the only thing that I need to work on is uh, uh, put my limits in so I can't go too high or too low and have uh, have uh, it not give me a setting it will give me garbly go if I go too high on the display but it works works reliably uh, you might want to put a capacitor at the end of the value Sometimes when the display moves around a lot, it might jump a value. But there it is. There's the part that works. This is just a board not completely etched. Um, there is pretty much the circuit, if you want to look at it. Uh, it's just a set of resistors, set of buttons. It's a resistor ladder logic voltage division circuit. Very simple. One input. Works great for Arduino. Hey, you know what? It makes it so you maybe don't even need the Mega. All right? Uh, a little bit to the other thing. Uh, a couple chips. That That's just an audio chip. I'm not going to use that. Then the, the frequency counter. And, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, as a side note, I'm also uh, recommending uh, people use Duinos. Duinos is a very powerful multitasking, multi-threading operating system for the Arduino. Anyway, it is running the display on this and allowing me to do several other tasks in the background at the same time. Anyway, again, there's the display. Uh, excuse me, there's the control pad. There's the display. There's the Arduino. Three wires. One input to the Arduino, one to ground, one to five volts. Got it?